This is part two of trying to fix this uh, Lux clock. Uh, the issue is, I hate these spring driven movements. The issue is, here is the wire or the pin that the uh, fork has to go into. And the fork is in this area right here right now and the pen is up on top of the movement and so uh, I could pull this pen out and pull the spring to turn the pen around but I'm not going to do that and to put the springs on there's a notch right here in this brass piece. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a notch in this brass piece. What I'm going to do is put the screwdriver in that notch and turn that one way or the other and see which way this the pen goes. With me turning the, uh, the notch up like this, the pen is going down so that's what I'm going to continue to do to try to get the pen that goes into the fork in the right position so now the pen is down about I don't know if you can see it is about the three o'clock position I'm pointing to it now and so uh, I think it needs to go down further to about the four o'clock position so now um, I think it's in that position, about the 4 o'clock position, but it's hitting the, uh, the fork itself. And so I'm going to have to take this nut off, bring the fork up, and then uh, put it back on. So stand by and let me see if I can do that. Like I said, I hate these hairspring type movements because they are a pain a big guy like me with my big hands if you get these springs damaged you might as well throw you can't fix them but it, it's very tedious work and you can buy replacement springs I have a whole drawer full of replacement springs they were made in India it doesn't matter where they're made, it's just the fact that taking the <clears throat> old one off, putting the new one on, I have broken a few of the stems on other clocks, working on these types of clocks. I think it's a poor design. I'd rather have a, <clears throat> a birch and crutch assembly with a pendulum. Uh, they work perfect for watches, um, but for clocks, uh, you, I was talking to a friend of mine, he has a clock repair man that has got like 40 years experience. <clears throat> you can actually go to a class, pay somebody a certain amount of money, um, and they'll teach a class on these hair springs and what to do but you have to understand they got 30 plus years experience that's all they work on or their expertise on just like I'm good at cuckoo clocks they're good at these hair springs and so they can sit there and finagle with the hair spring and do what they want it to do but if you're trying to repair a clock for the first time or for I've got a, a, 
a few clocks underneath my belt with these hair springs, but I'm no expert. I'm still a amateur when it comes to the hair spring movements, and I used to uh, work on pocket watches. Uh, that was many years ago when I had better eyesight. But stand by, and I'm going to see if I can um, reposition this escapement wheel while the fork is up in the air. Here I got it taken away. Um, the issue with this clock was the pallet fork itself had shifted on the on the pivot And so I had to figure out which way to push it down or push it up. But anyway, it's uh, ticking away. And uh, it's time to put this movement back into the case. And here I have it all back together, hanging up, taken away. Again, this is a, a Lux, a wall slash uh, shelf clock, I believe. I will show you the web page here directly. Uh, it was such a pain in the butt to uh, to mess with that hairspring. I don't like the hairspring uh, clocks. I hope you all like this video. God bless. This is uh, Dan and Diana's uh, webpage I was referring to. Very good webpage on Lux Clocks. So let me go to... Uh, let's see if I can find that out. Here it is right here. Deluxe Blossom Time. I, again, mine doesn't have this. Mine is this, which is the um, desk clock maybe uh, or sorry shelf clock made in 1928 blossom time again I hope y'all like this video God bless